So what do you think about a 50-50 relationship, uh, Chantel? Uh, how, much should, how, how much should a woman contribute to the household in this dual economy, in these tough times? What do you think? Well, I think every relationship um, has to be laid out in, um, in dollars. And I think when you are looking at that relationship, you got to say, okay, how much am I bringing in? If you're working, if you are working, you got to say, how much am I bringing in? And how much of the potential money can I put towards the household bills? Um, if you're living with a partner, y'all have rent, y'all have groceries, you have utilities. So you got to take all those numbers and you got to try to figure out how much are you bringing in, how much is your partner bringing in, and trying to find that that uh, happy medium of where you sit. Because so, what percentage of the household bills do you think in your situation? Well, I think it's based on each person's okay. income. So okay. let's let's you, I like to use real simple numbers. Like let's just say I was making a hundred thousand and Junior's making three hundred thousand. Like, I think you have to take how much of the percentage of those household bills he's earning and how much am I earning, and that's kind of how you figure that number on who brings what, because all right, so it's wh- all percentages. Like, wh- What do you think about when women say a man should take the whole thing, should pay all the bills? Well, it really depends on how much he's making. If Junior's making 500000 and I'm making 50000 yeah, he should pay the whole thing, if, you're, if that's your numbers. But if it's... If I'm more equal, if I'm making 250 and he's making 250, I think, and then what you also split in the household chores and, and household duties. If I'm doing all of the housework and I'm doing all of the childcare and I'm also bringing in 250, do I necessarily think doing a 50-50 split is equal? No, because you also have to, do, you have to monetize those skills. What do you pay a cleaner to come to your house each month? If your wife is doing all of the house cleaning, what would that cost you if you were doing that in a monthly cleaning service? Uh, if you were getting groceries and you were having a chef make your meals, if she's cooking all your meals, like you have to monetize all of those things. And you can't say, oh, I want my wife to pay 50-50 if she's doing all this extra work. I think okay. you, have to, you have to accommodate all of the things that your wife does in the household. What about you, Go- uh, Goku? Okay. Okay, my bad, bro. So, uh, honestly... <laughs> I think yeah, you actually got to talk about it. So, you paying a hundred? Do I pay a hundred? No, I don't pay a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> You're not. I don't pay a hundred. But I think you just got to talk about it. And yeah. you got to know, okay, if I'm going into this, this is what it's going to be. So you yeah, got to talk about it before y'all. But do you think it's possible, like, if you're in a situation where your wife is taking care of the kids and she's not working do you think it's possible that you pay 100% yeah. and she's doing all of I mean, yeah, things? definitely. But if, if you're working, too, I don't know. I, I mean, I this is something where it's like I hear people have a different point of view on this and that. And to me, I feel like it just depends on the relationship. So to me, I feel unless I'm making X amount of money, I would like her to put in whatever she needs to, to put in. Then once I get to that part, then okay. Is it just not 100% of everything that you make and 100% of everything she makes goes together to pay the things that need to be paid and then it's invested together, it's uh, it's growing together, it's in the one account? That's how, she, I mean, it should be, but again. Is that not what it is? I mean, it's, it's more like she has her account out of my account. Then that's not then, what it is. Yeah, but then now that, you know, we got the business, we got a joint account for that business and stuff like that, but I mean, I was okay with it. Uh, that's what I'm saying. It depends on the relationship. I was okay it depends with on the relationship. She she you just said that. No, so, yeah. but no, I'm okay. I, I but for me, I think that I mean, ideally, what you would want to have is whatever one person. If I'm whatever I am making, if I'm making a hundred thousand a year, let's yeah. just use that. If he's <clears> making two hundred thousand a year. Uh-huh. We put that in one account. Everything that we need to pay for our bills and everything is coming out of that account. So, or are you all saying that you should have separate accounts and then have to put one account together? So to me, me personally, again, everybody relationship is different. This is what, if I had a genie and I could say, this is what I wanted to be, I'd be like, okay, genie, what I want is that. I will say, this is how much it costs for household expenses. You put in 50%, I put in 
And then we also have a savings that we're going to use to, that's the money we're going to use for vacation. Everything else, you do whatever you want to do with it. That was my plan. It didn't work out that way, though. But, um... That's, how that's is it now? When you say it didn't work out that way, I'm, she said, she I'm, said, I'm like, I don't know that's too personal. I just want to know. She, said, like, she said, she said. So I said that to her. She's like, all right. And so every month I'd be like, ah, oh, you got it. Okay, you no, know, you got it. And so that's kind of how it was. And like, all right, well. So, so right now we. I don't we understand. Up. She didn't put the money in, or she no, did. No, I mean she didn't, but it wasn't like I needed it. But it was like I was like, this is the, this is how we should do it. You know, it's not like. We're kind of equal. Okay, you know? so she wasn't putting her fifty percent into the fifty percent account. Yeah. So then you had to cover the whole thing. Yeah, but that's okay though. But my thing, I mean, <coughs> I could take care of it. But did you like, know how much she was making, or you I mean, didn't? We both dentists, so you know, we kind of, I would say, like we kind of make the same, same kind of range. Dang. So, but then when that happens, then what you can, what can you do? You can't you know, be like. It. I've been paying it before, so I'm paying it. So it's like, I what do you have, think she's doing with her money? I mean, I we're gonna have that discussion because we're supposed to talk to a financial advisor about that. You know, honestly, I don't know what I'm doing with my money because sometimes I look and I'm like, what's going on here? Like, when when I do my taxes, when I send my tax to the comment at the end of the year, I'm like, I made this and this is what I kept. I'm not doing my money, so I need to talk about that myself. So, <laughs> so no, no, I think that's a great point because I think a lot of us could benefit from having some kind of a CPA looking at our uh, stuff on a monthly basis. Uh, my brother is an accountant, mm-hmm. and I recently started using him to just take my month and itemize what I was spending, just to put it in different categories, so that when it came time for tax season. I wouldn't be scrambling and trying to figure out as an entrepreneur, okay, what went into like meals, gifts, 